What's up guys? Today we are visiting the Kingdom of Life with Christala and Ioana. Hi. We are going to show you some of the top places in order to help you decide if you are visiting or not. So let's start the video. Our first destination was the Wimmis Caves, which are approximately an hour's distance by car northeast of Edinburgh. If driving there, park at the east end of the village and follow the signs. This is one of the Wimmis Caves, which were carved by the sea 8,000 to 5,000 years ago, and they were inhabited by people around 4,000 years ago. Most of the carvings in these caves date back to the Dark Ages and were created by the mysterious Picts. Centuries after the Picts used the caves, they were visited by Christian pilgrims and hermits who also left their marks on the walls. So, which one is this cave? I think this one is the Duke Cave. And why was it used for? Idioms were kept for meat and meat. That's correct. In recent years, the caves were negatively impacted by coastal erosion and vandals who have damaged some of the historic carvings. This is proper Scottish wind. After a five minute climb, you will find the Macduff Castle. Okay, so this is the Macduff Castle, which was inhabited in the 14th century by the most powerful family in five, the Wimmis family and their successors the 16th century. Today is a ruined castle. After Wimis joined forces with Robert the Bruce against the English in the 13th century, the King Edward I of England ordered the castle to be destroyed. Is this the castle believed to be haunted by Grey Lady who was found guilty of theft? Our next destination was the Ravenscreek Castle, which is a 15 minute drive from the Macduff Castle. So we have just arrived in Kirkcaldy. This is the Ravenscreek car park and uh, we are heading towards the Ravenscreek Castle, which is approximately 100-200 meters away. So this is Ravenscreek Castle, which is found in Kirkaldi. It's a ruined castle which was built in 4060 and it was the first example of artillery defence in Scotland. The Ravenscreek Castle was a heavily fortified castle with massive 3.5 meter thick walls showing the impact of gunpowder artillery on castle design during that era. This castle is considered one of the first in Scotland to be built in order to withstand cannon fire. So what do you like from this castle, girls? It has amazing view of the sea. It's well preserved and free of charge to get in. Originally, the castle was built as a royal residence for the Queen of Scotland. <laughs> After a quick stop in Grigaldi for a hot drink and something to eat, we continued our journey towards the Aberdour Castle. The Aberdour Castle was built at around 1200 and it's one of the oldest castles in Scotland. The earliest part of the castle comprised the modest hall house and it was expanded over the next 400 years. The hall house became a tower house in the 15th century. The final addition was made around 1635 with a walled garden being created, which is one of the oldest gardens in Scotland. If you are a fan of the Outlander TV series, this is definitely a place to visit because the Aberdour Castle was featured in some of the episodes. 
After a 10 minute drive, we arrived at the Cornerstone Full Gospel Church. We have to park here and then walk for another 10 minutes to arrive at St. Bridges Kirk. St. Bridges Kirk is a ruined church on the outskirts of Dalgety Bay. It is a medieval church dating back at least as far as 1178 and was altered in the 17th century for Protestant worship. Any thoughts? Even if it's cold, St. Bridges Kirk has been a ruin since the 19th century. So this is the end of our journey. If you have found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to support my channel. Also, have you visited the Kingdom of Five? And if yes, which was your favorite spot? Have a nice day. Ciao.